zum Lächeln im Haus. Yes. Hey, can y'all turn my microphone up? Yeah, please. Turn me up. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Alright, yeah. Let's swap to the new side. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Do you want to sit in the middle of us so we can share? I would just like ask one of like. Yeah, come here. Sit right here. We need some estrogen in the middle of us. It's too much. It's too much testosterone, man. Casual is brought to you by Sports Scene and for the very first time ever in the land of Mandela. We're going to have a platform that truly celebrates South African street culture in all of its forms. Like I said, this is the first time that it's happening, so thank you all so much for getting involved. We really, really do appreciate it. Yeah, give us a round of applause for the first time ever. Where I'm from, like in New York, it's just like, I don't really, it's, no, it's not a lot of artists that's like, coming up from the city that's repping the city like that they from. And I miss like artists repping their city. Like when I see Kendrick Lamar, he represents LA. And you have J. Cole, he moves back home. And like, you know how it used to be back in the days where it was like a West Coast sound, it was like an East Coast sound. And like all the East Coast guys, they wore jackets and Timberlands and Yankee fittings. I miss that because like, you know, it just really like, like from the look of it, you can tell where that person is from. So like when I record, I record in Quad Studios. Like for who, for those who don't know who Quad Studios is, Quad Studios is like where Tupac got shot at. That's like the famous studio where Tupac got shot. Biggie came downstairs, Tupac thought it was him, all of that. But it's still there and like it's still legendary. So I go there and record because it's right there on 42nd Street. You can see all of the city lights and like the, the landscape and everything, the Empire State Building. And it really puts you on the Empire State of Mind. And it's not that like the sound specifically uh, comes out in New York, but it's just the energy about it. So, yeah. We're going to have the music concert, which is exactly why we're here today. It's going to have over 30 acts. There's of the biggest acts that you've heard of, and there's going to be a couple of names that you've probably never heard of before, but after this weekend, you're definitely not going to forget those names. And they're going to be on two stages. We've got the main stage where these guys are going to be performing, and then we've also got the wave stage for all of those acts that are bubbling under. So that's all you need to know right now about Capsule. I think it's time we just get straight into talking to our acts, right? Are you guys ready? Are you excited? So along with these guys, we're going to have AKA, I think AKA was announced this week. Did you guys know AKA? The Super Man is also going to be on stage. And then Questa is going to be headlining too, which is going to be really, really exciting. But these two guys right here, they've been headlining, they've been the spearhead of this whole entire campaign, and I think we're all really excited to talk to them. Uh, let me start with Nancy C. You're one of the youngest people on the lineup, but you've had one of the biggest impacts on South African street culture. Ever since we started hearing your name, you really to change the game. What does it mean to you to headline an event like Castle? It's really a great uh, honor to be one of the headliners, especially one you know, for it, it's like a terrible. You know? <laughs> so it's, it's a really huge platform, man. It goes to show that anything can happen. If you're an artist and you're really about what you're doing, then you can reach your goals like your goals have. And I know that there's a lot of up and coming artists on the line or two that look up to me and we inspire each other, vice versa. So it's like it's really great. What can we expect from the show? I mean, your mood is always so insane. Yeah, like when I hit that stage, I just turned into a whole other person, like a beast. And I never felt the energy out here, so like I'm just gonna be excited. And just to when I when I feed off of people, so when I see people saying the words, I'm like, oh shit. Like sometimes, like I'll be so hyped when I see somebody go to words, I'll start fucking up. Like I'll start messing up my, my words on stage. Just because I'm like, oh shit, they know my shit. And I'm like, I'm not even home right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that right there makes me feel like I'm home and it makes me comfortable and then I'm able to like become a beast on stage. And Nasty, you have performed so many times South African. So I want you to just give him a little bit of an insight on what he can expect from the South African crowd. 
Okay, well, first of all, the ultimate, the people is like, you don't even have to worry about people responding to you. So that shit is definitely going to happen. <laughs> so it's going to be crazy. And you can cross here too. I've just never done it because I'm too tiny. I feel like I just say it. You're going to be good, bro. Right, promise. Catch you on the main stage this Saturday at the first ever Caps Hill Fresh Boys Festival. Catch you on the main stage this Saturday at the first ever Caps Hill Fresh Boys Festival. A big shout out to all of our sponsors. Don't forget you have these collegiate tickets from Mal before we leave. And we'll see you all in Johannesburg on Saturday. Thank you all, everybody. Have a good night. Digger, let's make it. Oh, let's make it. Hey, Digger, let's make it. Oh, let's make it. I got the plan to shake it.